Oh, hi. Welcome to Performance Motorsports Internet TV. I'm your host, Scott Davis. You guys just caught me checking out this awesome project the Metalcraft Tools Skill Center guys have been working on. This thing is awesome. I cannot wait to show you guys when this thing gets completed. We're new to YouTube, and we're going to be strive to be the most complete performance motorsports show on the internet today. We're going to have product demos. We're going to have tool demos. We're going to talk about everything that covers the industry from hot rodding to custom bikes to custom cars. We're going to cover metal shaping. We're going to cover the English wheel, power hammer, powder coating. Man, if it's in the industry, we're going to cover it. We're going to have special guests. We're going to cover tool maintenance. Man, this is going to be complete for you guys. You're going to get the best information you can find on the internet in the short time span that we do have on YouTube. Matter of fact, I have two special guests in-house tonight. I have Mark Davis, which is the director of Metalcraft Tools Skill Center, and Lou Santiago from Spike TV. They're in a multi-part interview that we're going to be showing throughout the season, discussing the industry and what the industry has done and grown over the years and how it's grown over the years and what it expects from its employees and how, where it's going to be heading. If you're interested in getting the industry, you need to check out this interview because they cover a lot of topics. I tell you what, you guys go check out the interview. I'm going to check out this project some more and I'll catch up with you later. Hey, we're here at Metalcraft Tool Skill Center and, and Lou come over, he's working on a top secret project and he's been slipping around, you know, working with Pop on some of the metal shape and stuff. But what we wanted to do was is talk to Lou a little bit about where the industry's going. You know, Friday we were approved to do a brand new program that we're doing for kids now or younger people that want to get into the the metal shaping and, and the car building, hot rods, motorcycles, and that type of stuff. And we've got 16 areas of study that we're going we're gonna to go in. But what I wanted to talk to you about a little bit was is where the industry is going, you know, where you feel that these young kids are going to be able to go out there and get jobs and, and, and what the industry is looking for as a whole. I think the industry is, right now, it's going to get ready to explode. There's tons of jobs out there, but they don't have the manpower to fill these jobs. And the stuff that you guys do here, it's hard work. I mean, you've got to be a craftsman. You've got to have vision to do this stuff. And if you don't have that, or if you don't have someone to at least guide these kids in the right direction, it's, gonna, it's not going to happen. There's going to be too many job openings. And guys like me and you are just going to fade away because we're getting older. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when we started, we, we'd done it the hard way. I mean, we'd done oh, yeah. one thing, and, and then we learned a little bit about it and we sort of took off from there but I mean I started when I was 12 years old you know and I just turned 47 years old and, and you started young and, and um, we've worked our way through it but when you when you go back and you look and say hey this guy's got 36 years of experience and he's been you know he's been doing this ever since he was seven or eight years old working in a shop it's sort of hard for a guy to come in in two or three years and take a class or something and jump in there and go where do you see the skills coming from? I mean, there's a lot of different industries they borrow from. When I started out, every, when I was a kid, I started at 13. When I started out, everybody in my neighborhood, there was probably six guys that were car guys. They were the ones who got me into it. They brought me into it. And then you start out, you start out sweeping in a shop, in a body shop or a mechanic shop. And then if you're lucky and you, and you showed some kind of mechanical aptitude, they would bring you in and say, okay, you work with this guy. And then you became his apprentice, and then you came to the works. And they also had, in New York, they had what they call BOCES, it's the Votech and the oh, school yeah. system. And they're doing away with a lot of that. So there's a huge void now that someone needs to fill because a lot of these outfits, they're not taking kids on as apprentices. They're not doing any of that. And the, they're trades that are dying, you know? So someone has to step in and fill this void because small outfits, like when I was working on my own, I didn't have time to teach some kid, even though there was a few of them that hung around and I did teach, but there was nothing consistent because they would disappear or they'd get in trouble and then next thing you know, they're gone. So it, there's, someone has to step in and fill this void and I see a really big problem because nobody is stepping up to the plate and filling it. You guys are back so soon. Man, I haven't even gone halfway through this project yet. I tell you what, the information that Mark and Lou was talking about our industry is so informative. As I mentioned, that is a multi-part interview. We'll be showing other segments of that interview in other episodes on our show. At the beginning of the show, I did mention that we were going to talk, cover tool maintenance. Well, we're going to go over and visit Cal Davis at Metalcraft Tool Seal Center over in his shop 
and he's going to show us how to clean and maintain our stretchers and shrinkers. Now, it seems like a simple task, but Cal's gonna break it down, show us in parts, and show us how to make the most performance out of your stretchers and shrinkers. I tell you what, let's go over and step over there with Cal and check out what he has to say. I'm gonna get back on this project. What I would like you to do here is to give you some little tips on maintaining and what I consider uh, enhancing the performance of these. And uh, that's the purpose of this little tape. Now if you disassemble the pieces and take a look at them, make sure that you note how they were assembled when they come apart. Now, if we take and pull these apart, now these right here are brand new, they've never been used. After you use your stretchers and shrinkers for a while, make sure that you keep these teeth really cleaned out because this is what does your work. Now, I got a little brush here that I use to keep mine clean with. Another thing is, is in the event that these get worn, you can always turn them around. And because the most wear is on the outer edge where you use them the most. What I like to do with mine is, is I like to take them and take a DA sander. Now these right here are nice and smooth now, but take a DA sander and sand these down to where they've absolutely got a high gloss finish on them. Here and, and I got some 240, take... just regular 240 sandpaper on it. And what I want to do is is to sand these surfaces until they're really smooth. <laughs> can see how smooth these surfaces are but they're quite smooth and polished as they are if you don't have any uh, buffing wheels or that sort of stuff to buff them with if you'll just sand them good and smooth this will work right here and it will enhance uh, the operation of your sander now you, you want to do your uh, blocks now but let's don't sand the, the serrations off of it let's just get on the back side right here and uh, what we want to do is just sand this good and smooth, just like we did the other. Now that we've got the surfaces really sanded nice and smooth, uh, they'll slip when we put them back together. They'll slide up and down in there. When you put your lube in there, which like I said, I use some of that STP type stuff. That's some really slick stuff. It'll help these operate. Go ahead and put our jaws back in here again. Now listen, remember the way they came apart with your jaws staggered. Now, just put them all back together. And uh, if you take good care of these tools, this is something that will last you a long, long time. Thank you, Cal, for that informative information about the stretchers and shrinkers. I tell you what, this equipment is not inexpensive and a few maintenance tips and performance tips to make these things last, hey, I'm all for it. Well, guys, I want to say thank you so much for visiting us on our first episode of Performance Motorsports Internet TV. As I mentioned in the introduction, we're going to be covering a lot of information, and I want you guys to stick with us, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to check us out. We're going to have a lot more information coming up, and we're going to have some fun along the way. So be sure to check us out each week here on Performance Motorsports Internet TV. I'm your host, Scott Davis, and thanks for checking us out.